Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be a pretty casual one. I am just inviting you along pretty much for my moral support to my closet clear out. I have been meaning to do this forever. There's a lot of stuff that needs to go that I just don't wear. Um, but a lot of it is quite good stuff. So I thought I would show you kind of my selection process. So I'm going to make three piles. One pile to keep one pile to donate, and then the third pile are going to be kind of things that are especially good that I think you might enjoy, or someone might enjoy. And so I'm going to go ahead and list those for sale. I think I'll be doing it on my blog. A lot of you have been asking for a blog sale. I asked last year if you'd be interested if I did a big closet spring kind of clear out in the new year if um, you would like to see that and kind of see what I have to offer and a lot of you said yes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm only going to list what I think are the items that are in the best condition and would kind of be popular. So I have a pile right here already, and this is from my second closet, which is really the pantry. So all of Fufu's stuff is in there, as well as some of my lesser known items. So it was the first place that I went to just kind of pull things out. And we're going to go through this pile together, and then we're going to attack the closet behind me. And I have to tell you, I'm kind of scared. I've let this become such a mess, especially throughout Vlogmas. I was just so busy that I just would not even hang clothing up properly anymore, which is really bad. I really try and take good care of my things. You know, I spend quite a lot of money on fashion, um, and I don't mind doing that because it's my passion, but it's really important to me to love everything that I have in my closet and take good care of those things. I'm not looking to create a minimalist wardrobe, though, so that's not what this video is about. It's just about having things that I love, and I don't really care how many items that's going to be as long as they can comfortably fit in my closet. Closet, um, which they kind of don't right now. Everything's just very disorganized and I do have a little bit too much stuff. So first thing I have right here, you can see it's never been worn, um, but I think I'm going to donate this item because it's quite tacky. It's a fake um, Chanel sort of coat thing that I got from Hong Kong and it's just mm, kind of polyester feeling. So this one's gonna go in my donate pile. These are two items that I think I am going to list on my blog sale. They are both in really good condition. DVF tote that has actually really never been worn. And I feel the same way about this Michael Kors um, Hamilton style bag. I'm actually loath to get rid of this because of the rose gold hardware. It's really, really beautiful. I think this is one of the best bags they've ever made, um, and I've had a lot of Michael Kors bags throughout the year. It's what I used in university. They are great bags, great quality, really nice leather, and this one is definitely my favorite that I ever had. I never wore it a lot, though, because um, right around that time period, I started buying luxury handbags, and I do tend to wear those over this one, so I think I'm going to send it to a good home. Um, yeah, even the plate is really nice still. It doesn't have really any scratches. So I think this as well would make a really great work bag for somebody. So I will be listing this in the blog sale as well. So continuing, I've got a J. Crew sweater here. It's cashmere. Um, it's still in decent condition, but you know what? This has bad memories of having brunch with a really nasty X attached to it. So it's also going in the donate pile. And then I have a Banana Republic dress here, and it's a size small, but it's actually too big for me. It's a knit, and I think I might put this in the blog sale, actually. It's nothing super fancy, but it's a really easy knit kind of sweater dress LBD with a v-neck, and I think somebody out there might really like this. So I will launder it and then list it, and I'll need to take lots of photos of that as well. Um, but when this, when I make this video live, the blog sale will also be live. Here's a dynamite shirt. I do like this shirt um, in terms of how it looks, but it doesn't wash really very well. It needs a lot of ironing, so I think I'm going to donate this one as well because I have so many expensive rail shirts that I absolutely love, and I do tend to choose those over the dynamite one. Um, next, I've just got a Kalnick sweater. This is from Classique Antier, and it's just really old, so I think I'm going to 
donate this as well. I haven't worn it in a really long time. Oh, this is a nice piece. So it actually has a black belt that goes with it. It's from Michael Kors, Michael by Michael Kors. It's a size four. It's actually a little bit too big for me and I haven't worn it in a really long time. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can locate the belt, then I will probably list this in the blog sale as well. Um, Cause I just think it's a really nice classy, classic sheath dress it's fully lined it's just really really nice quality it was expensive it was from um whole run through so i'm going to set this one aside to list along with the banana republic dress this dress is from jones new york it's also too big for me it's a size eight it's not a fancy brand but i do really like it so i think i might list this one as well because i feel like one of you guys might enjoy the dress and then I've just got some old Topshop dresses that I'm going to donate as well. So those are going in the donate pile. They're just really old, so I haven't worn them in forever. And I keep carting a lot of these things from apartment to apartment. I don't necessarily believe the rule that if you don't wear something for like six months, then it needs to go um, out of your closet because sometimes you know trends go in and out and if you really like something you might just need a break from it and then you can rediscover it so I actually don't believe in that rule I know it's a really popular one but I think you can end up getting rid of things that you really like however what I do believe in is if you actually move apartments and you're taking things with you and then from one move to the next you haven't worn something you're just carting that around like a turtle and it's not worth keeping. This top is from Anthropology. I love most of their stuff, but occasionally you get a dud, and this one is one of them. It just doesn't fit well at all. It really um, kind of uh, tends to create a lot of unflattering ruching at the seams that's not meant to be there, so I'm going to put this in the donate pile as well, because every time I try it on, it just doesn't look right. You know what I mean. We all have items like that in our closets and then I have so many button downs they're all size four so they all still fit me but I just never ever wear them my workplace is more on the business casual kind of side so I really hardly ever wear these classic shirts and I feel like someone especially someone who's in a business formal environment might really enjoy these oh and this shirt um, it's actually from BCBG. It's cashmere. It's really nice, but on my skin tone It makes me look naked because it just matches too much and it's gotten quite old as well now So that's gonna go in the donate pile as well And then oh, I know I set this aside because this sweater was really expensive But I never ever wear it So I'm not getting rid of a lot of my cashmere items because you guys know I'm obsessed with my cashmere collection. It's what I wear to work like every day. Nice cashmere sweater, black trousers and pearls is my favorite. Um, but this one is just, I don't know, I never seem to wear it. So I really like it. It's Club Monaco Italian Cashmere. And it's actually got a sharing applique on the sleeves right around the cuffs. It was at least $300 originally. And I've worn it like once or twice. So I think this one has to go in the donate pile as well. I think the shearling means that, um, I don't know, I just don't find it as easy to wear as some of my others, but it is really nice. And then, what else? Oh, I have this, um, oh, this one's got holes in it, so that's actually going in the bin, because you actually can't donate clothes that are too damaged. And this dress, I don't know how this ended up in my pantry. See, this is a problem. When You know you have too many clothes when you lose sight of ones that you actually really like and they just get buried with others. Um, this dress is from Clooney from Macy's. It's not an expensive dress at all, but I love it. I always get so many compliments when I wear it, so I'm going to hang it back up. You can see it's jersey. It's probably lost its shape a little bit by now, but I'm definitely not ready to get rid of it because I really like it. All right, so the first pile is done. I'm going to clear this out, and then we're going to start to attack the closet behind me. All right, we are on phase two of the closet clear out. Man, this is a lot of work, you guys, but it's going well. It's only been about an hour since I started. Um, so I just took out all the empty hangers, everything that was not hung up. So I've got a whole bunch of evening dresses that are mushed, which is terrible because I love these dresses. And then I started pulling out things that are just either not hung 
or that I'm thinking of getting rid of. So I've got these two wrap dresses. One is a little bit too small and one is a little bit too big. They're from Diane von Furstenberg. I used to just kind of buy any size of the wrap dress because theoretically they do kind of fit um, in a way that you can adjust, but they don't fit perfectly and so I tend to reach for the ones that are you know, better fit over these ones. So I've got my black and white one here. This one's very well loved by me. I've loved this one. I think I will list it, however, because it's still in pretty good condition. And then this one's a size 10, so I don't know why I bought this, because it is quite a bit too big, but I really love this print. It's no longer available. It's a swirl and violet print, and I really love these, so I'm going to go ahead and list them in the blog sale because I think a lot of you guys like wrap dresses as well. And then this one I just cannot quite get, get rid of because it's one of my favorites that I've ever purchased, but it is a little bit too big as well. And so what I'm going to do, I think, is get this one tailored because it's just a bit loose around the waist, um, but the rest of it fits just fine. So it's a size 10 as well, but I just love the green leopard. I think it's really unusual and I would struggle to find something that's the same again. Um, so I have a little pile of tailoring that I've started of things that don't quite fit how I want and because I can sew, I've been saying that I'm going to do it myself for years pretty much, but I never have the time so I think I'm going to shell out and go ahead and get the tailor to fix them. Um, then I've got this skirt from Forever 21, but I have a better version of it. It's the lace skirt um, from Nordstrom that I like much better. So it's unworn, and I'm going to go ahead and donate this one because um, I feel like it would be an item that would sell quickly in a charity shop. And then I'm just going to hang these evening dresses up because it just is so terrible. I just folded them over. So I'm going to get that done in a second, but first, um, one of the first things I had to do was clear out the shoes and organize them because I could hardly even slide the doors open from one side to the other um, before I did that. So you can see things are starting to look much better. Things just need to be organized a little bit more, but it's already starting to be in its proper organization. So I've got little black dresses, wrap dresses, plaid shirts, other shirts. Oh, you know what? wanted to donate this one as well because I don't really like how it fits. Um, it tends to be a little bit sheer around the chest as well. And it wasn't anything very high quality in the first place. I just really like the color, which is why I held on to it for so long, but that's not good enough. It's from Esprit, so I'm just going to donate this one. Um, and then you can see I've got some more shirts that need to be kind of a bit more organized, but these are all ones that I really like. Then I've got my skirts, and then over here it goes into more like evening dress kind of territory, so I don't reach for those pieces as much, but I still really like all of them. And then why don't I show you the shoes that I'm clearing out? So these ones are from Nine West, but they are beat so much so there's no more Nine West on them, and the elastic on the strap has given out, so that's going in the garbage. Um, can't donate shoes that nobody can wear anymore. And then these ones, um, I told you about, I think, before. These are my Stuart Weitzman over the knee Highland boots. I've worn them just a couple of times. So there's a few tiny little scuffs on the heel, but otherwise the suede is still gorgeous. It, they just need to be linted a foo-foo's firm. And then I'm going to list them on the blog because I feel like someone will get a lot of wear out of these. So these are seven and a half from Stuart Weitzman. They're just so gorgeous, but I tend not to wear them as much as knee-high boots. And I did go ahead and splurge on getting myself the um, Stuart Weitzman knee-high boots. They're called, called the Keenlands, and I love those and wear those much more than these. So I will list these and you know, kind of getting these to somebody who will actually love and wear them is one of the main reasons that I'm doing this blog sale. And then same thing with these Jimmy Choo's. These were a limited edition. They have been worn a couple of times, but the heel on them is still 
perfect even the heel tips are perfect they probably just need a sole put on on the front if you're gonna wear them a lot um, but otherwise the leather on them is so gorgeous it's actually got a duochrome effect so they're navy blue with a green duochrome one of the reasons maybe that I haven't worn these is they're actually a half size too big I got that because I thought it would make the pointy toe a little bit more comfortable but in the end it just doesn't kind of work for me um, so they're 38 and a half from Jimmy Choo they're the classic stiletto and um, so if you're a stiletto lover you might be the right home for these but I think it's time for us to part because I really never wear them I feel like there are some jeans in there that I never wear so I'm going to go ahead and pull those out as well and then we will meet again for phase three of my closet clear out all right everyone we are at the final countdown look at my closet it's looking so much better there's room so I can move things around and you know it's still not ideal i wish i had some more shelving i think shelving is my favorite sort of storage but unfortunately my apartment does not have that much of it but you do what you can especially with a rental um so i'm just going to go through these last couple of bins and then we'll be done i have piles about this big for um, my blog sale and one for donation as well and then I'm gonna have to go and organize that and take photos for the blog sale but all in all the actual clean out process took me just under like we're about at the two hour mark now so it honestly was so overdue and I wish I'd done it before and I think I'm going to do it again for a lot of this is either t-shirts or lounge wear and unfortunately they have to go in these baskets because that's really the only way of keeping a top shelf like that organized it is hard to see in them though so what i'd like to do is whittle down what i have a little bit more so that i'm not digging through so much in order to find the ones that i like i am done and dusted i feel so proud you guys and so good everybody always says how good it feels to get rid of things and Really, I tend to put it off because I love so many of my things um, and have kind of very carefully picked things out, but things do get old. Um, sometimes sizes change, change and um, it was time for a cleanup. So I'm really happy with how everything turned out. You can see one side and the other. And um, over here, I've got my pile of donation t-shirts. And for the first time ever, I tried the Kunmari method of folding. Um, I think that book is really intelligent. A lot of it didn't necessarily resonate for me personally. I just kind of have my own way of doing things. But I did want to try this folding method. It does take a lot longer than regular folding. But you can see the nice thing is you can see all of the shirts and just kind of pull one out. So I'm going to try it. I feel like it won't really last because it seems as you take a bunch of them out it'll collapse but it looks nice and it was just a fun way to finish all of my tidying up and Fufu has helped with moral support as have you guys so thank you for watching this video next week if you're interested I'm going to do a little bit Fufu you're gonna make everything furry um, I'm going to do a little bit of shopping because doing all of this helped me to identify kind of what I wanted to add to my wardrobe for the new year and I've had my eyes on a few things but I made sure that I didn't get them until I had forced myself to kind of do this so it's a nice impetus and a nice reward so I'll be doing a haul video I think and then that will probably be followed as soon as possible by a five days of fashion because I'm well overdue to do one of those you guys know they're some of my favorite videos to film for you and I know that you enjoy them too so if you would like to see what I wear to work and what I get to add to my collection of clothing then make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye